what is up guys this morning it is monday i hope you guys are doing good uh so we got a few yards to do today i already got everything loaded up but i got something else on the trailer I'll show you guys here in just a second uh, <clears throat> i stayed cub cadet guys just because you know kind of like trying to keep things together all right so we got a 33 inch cut walk behind mower from cub cadet that's the second mower of the fleet. so let's get on over here to this new yard new client we got three people new so that's good and we've picked that up over the past couple days so let's get going all right guys just picked this one up uh went in there quoted it uh quoted her 40 bucks on that one and uh it's not that big the backyard's tiny so we'll put them on a bi-weekly I'm gonna run over here, grab some gas real quick, and we're gonna cut it. All right, guys, got that one all done. Trimmed the whole ditch out. That probably took me, I don't know, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of five minutes. So, literally while I was in the middle of this yard, Talon calls me, and it's like, bro, got any yards? <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't have a whole lot, but you know, I can pay you a little bit to come out with me. I was like, if that's what you want to do, he's like, yeah, I'm down. Uh, I was like, so he didn't seem too eager about meeting me out here. I was like, uh, so do you want me to come get you? He's like, yeah, that would be cool. I broke the axle on the Grom. <laughs> I was like, what you do? He's like, uh, he didn't use a torque wrench, so he over torqued it and bust the axle on it on the rear so i guess he was probably changing the tires out he probably was putting the boggers that were on my grom on his well on aaron's it's aaron's grom so but anyways we're gonna head over here to the shop and uh pick him up real quick and then uh carry on our day all right guys so i'm gonna explain you guys have been asking i'm gonna explain what happened to brian my cousin uh Back in February, we had decided we were going to do lawn care together. Um, he bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, I purchased some stuff. And I, you know, things started out okay. We had the month of March. We didn't really have too much going on. Uh, but April's where things really started picking up for us. Uh, yard started rolling in like crazy uh, we had a lot of big jobs to do like as far as mulch uh, and just things like that but that first week of March you know we did well over two thousand dollars just in that first week of not first week of March first week of April alone we we did quite a bit that first week and it was just me and him and after that first week, he kind of started acting a little different. Uh, I, I think he he realized real quick, because guys, we only worked three days that week. We made over $2,000, and it was between doing mulch jobs and some cleanup stuff and grinding a stump and all of our yards, which wasn't a lot. It's like, you know, 11 or 12 yards, but anyways uh with all that being said all, all that added up together you know we had a really good week that week and we we split you know we split the money and uh you know we made a good amount of money that week and you know that was paid back you know that was definitely a return in his investment and a return in my investment you know that pretty much paid for the trailer and the rzt you know and after that, I could tell there was a noticeable difference in the way his motivation was. Uh, you know, real scatterbrained. You know, I don't know if it was an act or what it was, but every day we worked together, it was like at the end of the day, he hit the reset button. Like the next time we worked together again, it's like he had no idea what was going on. Uh, you know with equipment or or anything like just anything it was almost like every day working with him was 
a new day with a new guy that you had just hired that's never touched a trimmer or a mower before. And, uh, you know, I, I was telling my wife, I was like, you know, there's something going on with him. I tried to talk to him numerous times, once on the phone, once in person, you know, I tried to talk to him. But the ten, the, the week of the 10th of April, you know, he sent me a thing, you know, his dog was sick. And just kind of after that, you know, it, it just really went downhill fast. So, you know, we had decided that we just needed to, you know, just part ways. And, and you know, he, this wasn't for him. And that was what he said, too, that, you know, maybe this this isn't for him. Uh, you know, and I agree. Uh, this is definitely not a business business for for him so i we're i'm solo now it's me and my wife she's taking care of the books and taking care of the financing and all that stuff and i'm taking care of everything in the field we just bought that like i said we just bought purchased that uh walk behind the 33 inch walk behind by cub cadet uh and got a pump on order uh, we should be good. We should be able to get through the season with where we're at right now. I don't have any plans on buying another mower until next season. Uh, if we can, if we magically pick up a boatload of yards, we'll get a new mower. But, uh, you know, we picked up some yards this week. You know, if we kind of get back to where we were, where the yards were coming in like crazy, then yeah, I'll uh, we'll go get a new mower. But it's just not really in the cards right now to take on a uh, a mower payment because the wife really needs a vehicle, and we want to get her a new car. Uh, and we got a Florida trip coming up, and things like that. So we we really we're really watching our P's and Q's right now, and we don't want to we don't want to fall before we get up. So. Anyways, I'm about to turn in here to the shop. We're going to pick up Talon and finish the rest of the day. All right, guys. I'm one of our good clients showing Talon how to run the 33 walk behind. It's a pretty good slope right here. Uh, so this thing is pretty shining pretty well on it. It's laying a pretty nice cut. I can't wait to get those blades nice and sharp. I think it's going to do very well. It'd be good for those small yards and stuff. So, re recovered. We'll be all right. Things gonna be good. He's gonna be really good. Uh, he's not done lawn care any, and this is his fourth day, and uh, like fourth actual day of doing lawn care. And he's daggum near close to being able to, for me to turn him loose. See, he let off the he let off the drive, turned it around. And now he's gonna come back. There you go. See, awesome. Doing good. I think he's gonna do good. good to go so we'll see this is really sloped out real hard right here I kind of want to see how well it holds up because the if the if it's going this way I mean you you physically have to turn it you know so I, I would just kind of wondered how these things were going to handle on a hill on a slope if it was going to be hard to manage to keep straight or or what but it looks like it's staying straight pretty well so I'm pretty stoked about that this is a big old lot we're, that we're doing it's all the way down to those woods there all the way down to the other side so but it looks like this is gonna gonna serve us very well all right guys we're all done with this one here you know I was a little worried about the quality of cut with the cub, the old one, but it actually does pretty darn good. Uh, we really didn't give that 
mower much credit. Looks still looks pretty good, so she's still happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. Uh, actually, Talon, Talon kind of liked to walk behind. <laughs> he was like, man, this thing's pretty easy to run. I was like, I told you, as long as you don't try to horse that thing around and just kind of steer it and let it do its own thing, keep it where it needs to go, hey, it's going to be all right. So, anyways, uh, my, uh, my phone's about to die, so this is going to be it for today. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, definitely, definitely, everything will be okay if you just keep mowing and never stop.